Welcome. Today I'm here to introduce uh, the latest version of Vertibug Analyzer. As BI consultants, we are used to work on customer databases and uh, customers ask us to optimize their model. In order to do that, we need to have very detailed information about the data model, the space used by all the tables, the DAX code that runs in the model, and the size of relationship and all sorts of information. To do that, we built Vertipack Analyzer. In order to download it, you only need to go to the sqlbi.com website, then go to Tools, and then to Vertipack Analyzer. Currently, the version is 1.6. But what I'm showing you today is version 1.7, that is the latest one. Let's see how it works. First of all, you need to open Vertipack Analyzer, which is nothing but an Excel file with a Power Pivot data model inside it that runs DMV against your model in order to retrieve all the information. Then we need to make it point to your analysis services tabular database. So we go to Power Pivot Manage, and from there we will change the connection string. So we simply go to Existing Connection, Edit the Connection, and then we build it together. We need to point to the current instance of tabular and choose the database. Let's take, for example, Audience, which is a pretty large model containing 4 billion rows, so it's pretty large. Once we save it, then we need to refresh. Remember to use refresh all, not refresh, otherwise the results will be inconsistent because not all the tables will be refreshed as part of the uh, data refresh. Once you close it, you simply need to go to Excel, and from there we go to the first tab. The first tab shows all the tables in our model. As you can see, the full database is 18 gigs. Out of these 18 gigs, 17 are used by audience, which is uh, the fact table. And then all the other bridge table and dimension use much less space. So you already have a clear picture of which is the biggest table in your model. But moreover, you can expand the table and look at the detail for each column. You see that for each column you have the cardinality, that is the number of distinct values, the column total sides divided in data sides and dictionary sides. Data sides and dictionary sides depend on the encoding. And if you define hierarchies on your model, you also have the sides of hierarchies. Then you have relationship sides, percentages, the number of segments, partitions, and columns of your model. And this is very useful to understand the size of each column and to predict performances. The same information is then represented in other tabs. Columns, for example, shows you the same information but at the column level, which is useful because you can sort it by column total size and quickly focus on the largest columns of your model, which are probably the slowest one. Then you can see details about hierarchies, uh, relationships. Uh, the relationship uh, is uh, a new feature in 1.7 because it shows you uh, the, in a clear way the relationship, uh, the sides, uh, and the cardinality of the two sides of the relationship. You have detailed information about uh, the compression used for all of your columns and the data types that the user, that the engine decided to use for your model, the kind of encoding. And finally, sorry, the kind of encoding. Moreover, now you can also see the measures which were defined in the model. It uh, gathers uh, the measures as text, uh, but uh, there is a nice feature here in the Vertipack Analyzer tab. You can click on Format DAX Expression. Of course, it needs an internet connection because it connects uh, to the SQL BI website and asks it to format all your expression in a nice way. If you have any calculated column, then they will appear under the calculated column tab, and in calculated tables, you will have all the calculated tables. As I said, it works on analysis services and on Power BI Desktop. How does it work with Power BI Desktop? Well, here I have a Power BI Desktop file open. You can see it here. That contains several tables, customer, date, and orders. What if I want to grab information about uh, this Power BI file? In order to do that, I need to use DAX Studio. DAX Studio has uh, the option of connecting to Power BI Desktop, so I ask it to connect uh, to my Power BI Desktop file, and you can see in the bottom right, it shows uh, localhost 58133. Localhost 58133 is uh, the uh, address we need to use uh, from Vertipack Analyzer. So we go back to Vertipack Analyzer, 
than to the manage window. As we did before, we modify the connection, we build it together, and this time it will be localhost, and then I forgot the number, it's uh, 58133, so localhost 58133. And uh, the initial catalog has a funny name, but it's pretty simple to find using uh, this uh, combo box. Uh, click on OK, then we test the connection, click on OK, and finally save it. Close uh, and do another refresh all. Refresh all gathers all the information. As you see, it's very, very quick in doing it. And now the VertiPack Analyzer will contain detailed information about my Power BI desktop file. You can see that uh, starting from the tables, we have uh, four tables. The date table template uh, is because of time intelligence. Uh, the customer date and orders table are my real table. Now, how do we use VertiPack Analyzer? Imagine that on this model, I want to build a new calculated table. I'm not going to write the code of the calculated table. I have already created it and copied here in Notepad. So I can simply copy the code of this table go to my model, go to modeling, new table, and here I simply passed all the code and hit enter. Right now, the table is being created. It's a pretty large table. As we will see, it results in 200 megabytes of size, so it takes a while to compute the whole table. Once it finishes, you simply go to Excel, and here in the VertiPack Analyzer tab, there is the re Refresh button. You simply click on it to ask for a full refresh of the Power Pivot model. You see that now we have four tables, and after the refresh, the Open Orders table appears, which is 200 megabytes. And if you expand it, you have all the details about the columns in your calculated tables, the usage in space, and the encoding, and so forth. You also have uh, in the measures, of course, all the measures in calculated columns, the columns, uh, and uh, in calculated table, you have the code, uh, the DAX code uh, of uh, the calculated table that we have created a few seconds ago. So this was more than enough for an introduction of VertiPack Analyzer. The next time you will ask for help and we will ask you to send us a VertiPack Analyzer of your model, you know what to do. Thank you for watching.